I think of Parley uh, certainly as one of the most creative writers. When one thinks of Orson, um, and we'll come back and mention Parley in a moment again, when we think of Orson, Orson is, is much more mathematically oriented. He's much more um, systematic in his, in his uh, writing and thinking. Uh, one could almost uh, see the two major strains in early Mormonism by reading the works produced by Parley and Orson Pratt. And the two major intellectual currents in America at the time were uh, based on, one, the Enlightenment, that is, the growing rationalization of, of the discovery of natural laws and science that had been building since the late uh, 17th century and so forth but uh, an approach that sought to analyze and dissect and systematize and, and um, discover the laws and the, and the order of the universe, and in religion in this case. And the reaction to the Enlightenment was a movement that we call Romanticism. That is a movement that tended to move away from a more strict, logical, mathematical account of the world and see it more in terms of nature, in terms of the more creative, poetic strains. And those two are major themes in both European and American thought in the 19th century. And I would suggest, having read a lot of both of the brothers' works, is that Parley tends to bring into Mormonism that romantic perspective. Now, I'm not talking about romantic in terms of love, I'm talking about romantic in terms of this literary and intellectual movement where Orson, I think, felt much more at home in the world of the Enlightenment. So when you read Orson Pratt's works, you see a, a mathematician, a man who is going to get his telescope and look at the stars. He's going to solve um, religious questions like he would solve a mathematical equation. And so when you read his missionary tracts, they're very logically argued, they're very point by point. He's making a case and, and arriving at a at a conclusion like he would almost solve a mathematical problem. But if you read his brother Parley's works, Parley's one who can take an idea and sort of see where it's going to go, play with it a little bit, uh, saying, if this is true, then what does it mean here? And I think Mormonism has been much benefited from the contributions of both of the Pratt brothers because it has allowed people of both persuasions to draw on the great strengths of Mormonism, whether they tend to be more of the romantic uh, religion of the heart, shall we say, or the more rational religion of the mind. And I think in both of those brothers you find, uh, and I'm, I'm certainly oversimplifying, uh, but I think it's one way to at least understand their contributions um, as, as I read their works.